KFC popcorn chicken, buffalo mac and cheese. Let's make it. Alright, so you're gonna mount all the ingredients listed on the screen for the mac and cheese sauce, and you're gonna mix it. And you're gonna throw that bowl in a little microwave for 30 seconds, and then you're gonna put it in the blender and blend it until it's smooth around the 30 seconds. Alright, once that's done, you're gonna boil a pot of water that you're gonna salt well. You're gonna put your pumpkin pasta in and cook it until you like it. For me, that's about five minutes. Then you're gonna strain it in your pumpkin bowl and you're gonna combine it with your cheese sauce. Alright, and that's your mac and cheese done. So now we're gonna move on to the chicken. Alright, you're gonna make about two and a half pounds of other chicken tenders or chicken breast. If you have chicken tenders, you need to cut them out before you cut into bite sized pieces, like I did not do, but I did in this clip. Once your chicken is bite sized pieces, you're gonna take your flour and your baking powder, combine that, and then you're gonna take this spice mix, we should pause, and then combine it with your flour and baking powder mixture and mix well until it's combined. Once your mixture is well combined, you're gonna add 120 grams of egg whites to your chicken, and you are gonna set up your station. So you're gonna take your right hand and your egg whites, and you're going to coat your chicken, and then put it in the air fryer, spray it with Pam, cook it 400 for about nine minutes. Once that's done, just come out of the air fryer looking nice and crispy, and white in the middle, just like mine does here. Now you're just gonna evenly put them into your containers, and they're ready for the fridge. Now when you go to reheat them, the way I would do it is put the chicken back in the air fryer at 400 for about three to four minutes, take buffalo sauce, put it over your chicken, and then mix together. Hope you guys enjoy it, leave a like.